In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to make some best practice enhancements to line charts, including making adjustments to your axes, adding strategic data labels, creating gestalt labels, and changing the default width of a line. In this example, we're going to compare the number of online and in-store sales at Allerson's. We have data from January 2019 through April of 2020. To create the line chart, select the data you want to include in the line chart. Click Insert and select 2D Line Chart. Now we have a line chart with a series for the online sales and a series for the in-store sales. The default output of Excel is nothing exciting. So let's learn how to make some enhancements to this line chart that will serve as an effective visual base for your data story. Even when we make our chart bigger, we still have the challenge of having data labels that are diagonal. Diagonal lettering is more difficult for our audience to read. Let me show you a trick to get rid of these diagonal labels. By having the year appended to each month of our data, we're creating a redundancy. Let's clean up our data a bit to remove the unnecessary year from each month in our data. First, insert a column to the left of the month column. Then, add the year 2019 to the cell at the left of January 2019, and 2020 to the cell at the left of January 2020. Next, let's abbreviate the months so that there's less text in our labels. Reduce January 19 to Jan and February 19 to Feb. Doing this for each month can get tedious, but luckily Excel will notice the pattern we've started and fill it down for you. Highlight the Jan and Feb and then drag down to the rest of your dates. All of the abbreviations are now completed for you. Now let's check out what our new date format looks like in a line chart. Select your data again, click Insert, and choose 2D Line Chart. Make the chart a bit bigger so you have more room to work. Notice on the x-axis, the months are now grouped by year, making the axis have less text and causing it to be easier for our audience to read the values on the axis. I'm going to move this chart into PowerPoint to make my enhancements. This is just because I like to have a bit more room to work, and PowerPoint offers the additional tool of an eyedropper that I can use in my chart enhancements. Choose the Paste option that links to source data so that any change you make in the spreadsheet is reflected in the chart in PowerPoint. Now let's make some enhancements. The default line in Excel is very skinny. Let's make the data the star of our slide by fattening up the lines. Right-click on Data Series. Select Format Data Series and click on the Paint Bucket option. Navigate down to the Line Width option. The default line width in Excel is very thin at 2.25 points. To make your data stand out, I suggest changing to a width of at least 5. In this chart, because there's only two data series, I'm going to make the width 6. Select the other data series and match the line width of 6. Now we want to add data labels. If you select the whole series and then click the green plus sign at the top and select data labels, the values will be added to each point. This is probably more than we want to add to our chart. We don't want to create chart junk. Just a note, if you're using a Mac, you need to select add chart elements at the top right of your menu to add in data labels. Instead of adding all of the labels, let's strategically add labels. Instead of clicking the entire data series line, double click on the data point that you would like to add the label to. Then select add data label. This will cause the label only to be applied to that single selected point. Repeat that process of double clicking on a single point and adding a data label to any point for which you want to add a value. I'm going to add these labels to the starting and ending values for each of my data series. We know that legends cause our audience to do too much work in identifying the color that goes with each data series. Let's reduce the cognitive load of our audience by creating gestalt labels that move the important information from the legend right next to the data series it represents. We already have the value for the most recent data point for each of our data series. We're going to add the series name to that label. Double click on the label. Make sure that there are white dots surrounding the label, not the data point. The Format Data Label menu should appear. If not, you can right-click on the data point and select that from the menu. 
Right now, value and show leader lines are selected as showing in our labels. To add the series name, select the series name box. Deselect the show leader lines box. This will provide you with additional options for placing your label without distracting lines connecting the label to your data point. Do the same, adding the series name to the other data point. If you run into any issues with the placement of the label, you can choose a different location for the point from the Label Position menu options. Let's clear out the chart elements that we no longer need. To remove grid lines, click on them and hit Delete. You can do the same with the Y axis, as those values are not needed if we are labeling individual points. We made the legend unnecessary by adding Gestalt labels, so that can be removed. And we'll create a storytelling title using the text option in PowerPoint and not limiting ourselves to the space and formatting of the default chart title area. With a nice clean chart space, let's make sure our audience can see our data labels. Select your labels by clicking once. You'll see the blue dots around each of the labels in the series, and then increase the font size. Do the same for the other series. Increase the font size of the x-axis by clicking in the axis, and then increasing the font size. Let's get away from the default Excel colors and bring in some of Allenson's colors. Grab their logo and paste it in the PowerPoint slide. To change the color of the online data series, click on the line, right click, and select Format Data Series. Go to the Paint Bucket option and scroll down to the Line Color Choice tool. We're going to use the eyedropper tool to steal the exact color we need from the logo. If you're using a Windows machine, the eyedropper tool will be right under the More Colors option. If you're using a Mac, you need to click into More Colors and then the eyedropper tool will be available. Hover the eyedropper over the color you want to change the line to and then click. Your data series will now have the same color that you just pulled from the eyedropper. I'm going to change the in-store data series to gray so that my audience will focus more on the online data series. Next, we'll finish creating our Gestalt labels by incorporating similarity by making the text of the label the same color as the data series. Select the labels for in-store and select the same color gray that you just made the line. Do the same for the online data labels. Notice that the yellow from the Allenson's label is stored in the recent colors list for easy access. Now you have a clean line chart that you can utilize to create a storytelling title and strengthen your data story.